Hi everybody, today we are doing the area model for multiplication, two digits times two digits. And if you have this worksheet, you can follow along and we can use the color coding to help us remember what step we're on. And if you don't have it, I'll show you also how to do it with just a piece of paper, because that is the end goal to get to a point where we can just do it, but this is a really good step to help us build and help us get there. So if you want to get all 36 of these, just click on the link below. This is two digits times two digits, and that's why we have two across and two down. So I'll show you what I mean. 26 times 13 is a two by two. So I went two across for the 26 and two down for the 10, 3, 13. And so that's how we set it up. And then we're gonna take each number and put it into expanded form. So when we're doing multiplication like this, I like to think of it like teams. 26 is one team, and it came to multiply against the 13, which is another team. So the 26 is gonna go up here, the 20 and the six, they're on the same team, they'll be next to each other. But the 13 goes over here because it's the different team, so they're gonna be multiplying against each other. So we want one on top, one on the side. And if you have this, you can use the colors to help you if you get stuck. So the green two goes here, and then the six is blue, goes there. So we're gonna go ahead and start. 26, we put into expanded form. The green, the 20, goes here, and then six. So that one is all teed up and ready to go. And so if you were doing this just on a piece of paper, it would be 20. Six, just like that. And then the 13 is on the other team, and so it's gonna be going along the side here, and again, we'll put it into expanded form. That orange one is in the tens place, so it's really a 10. So 13 is 10 and a three. And I'm using the colors just to help us keep track of everything. Now we are ready to multiply. And we are going to do one, two, three, four multiplication problems. Basically, we are taking each of these digits, the 20 and the six, and multiplying each of those against the 10 and the three. And the area model just makes the spaces for us so that we can keep track of what we've done. But all we're doing is we're saying, I can't do 26 times 13 in my head, but I could do 20 times 10 and 20 times three. And then I could do six times 10 and six times three and then add it all together at the end. So we're doing step by step. So we're gonna do the 20 first, and we're gonna do 20 times 10, and then 20 times three, and then we'll be done with that too. Let's start in this box here, and if you get stuck on what to do in the box, I like to take this and go down, and take this and go over, and see that this is 20 times 10. And you can also use the colors. So this is um, green, versus orange, and so this box is green and orange. All right, so 20 times 10, forget about the zeros, you're just gonna do two times one and then stick two zeros on the end. 20 times one is two, or sorry, two times one is two, and then you stick a zero and a zero on the end, 200. So what we just did there is we did 20 times 10. Now we're gonna come down, and so we take it down and across, and this is 20 times three, green versus red. Forget about the zero and just do two times three. That's six, and then we put a zero. So 20 times three is 60. Okay, so now we just did 20 times three. So we're actually done with the two, we used it. We did 20 times 10 and 20 times three. This essentially is 20 times 13. And now we're just gonna do the six. So we're gonna do six times 10 and six times three. Or in other words, take it over here, we're saying we're gonna do six times 10 and six times three. And that's just what these boxes are for. So six times 10 is 60 and six times three is 18. So now we have done 26 times 13, because we did 20 times 13 over here in the green, 20 times 10 and 20 times three. And then we did six times 13, we did six times 10 and six times three. So we've done 26 times 13. And now all we have to do is add them together. If you have these boxes, they're really helpful because it can just help you keep track of how many digits everything can be. So it's a good way just to spot mistakes. Um, 
But if you don't, then you can just add these up. It doesn't matter in what order, just add these four numbers up, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and add them here in these boxes. So we have 200 plus 60 plus 60 plus 18. And then we add from right to left. Zero plus zero plus zero plus eight is eight. Six plus six plus one is 13, carry the one. And one plus two is three. So we got 338.